What's going on folks, Antoine here with Core Cutter Lifestyle and Tech and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new streaming service Peacock TV. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I first heard about the streaming service I just totally wrote it off as a, another, another streaming service, another premium, another big company trying to make some more money. But after doing some research I realized that man this, this streaming service, they set themselves apart from the other platforms, even the free platforms. And that's something we're going to take a look at and get into in this video. Of course, I'm going to go over the content, the features, the pricing, device availability, and hopefully answer some of the questions you guys might have about this service. Um, especially the Google Play users, because Google Play has been so harsh. Google Play users, Android users have been so harsh on the streaming service, but you know maybe they don't know what they doing you know but we're gonna get into that so first I just wanna uh, show you guys the content just a brief look at the content so you guys can get a good idea at the beginning of what um, they have to offer so you see we have shows like the Born Identity Jurassic Park I mean big name actors big name content um, one thing I wanna show you is when you see that purple leaf that means that's only available through the premium subscription and we're going to get to some subscriptions in a second but that's only available through premium subscription only premium subscribers can watch that content but make no mistake there is a lot of content that you can watch for free of course you got to watch commercials but there's a lot of content you can watch on here for free and a lot of great content that's why i say this sets them apart from other premium um, subscription service such as uh, HBO Max, um, Hulu, you know, not not YouTube TV because YouTube TV covers the whole gamut. They're giving you all the local channels, different you know, different John, different networks and everything. But in terms of um, niche streaming services like CBS All Access or you know um, Netflix or anything like that, this can potentially compete with that right so one thing that got me excited about this streaming service is first of all the the pricing is one it's free you can watch it for free and then the content you know um you have reservoir dogs you can watch for free the good shepherd um you know just going down born identity just plenty of movies you watch but one thing i noticed is that they mix in the premium content with the free content, right? Because as you can see, you see the purple lead, the purple purple feathers um, throughout the content. But when you think about it, that's not really a bad idea because they're letting you know what you could be watching. You know, after all, it's a free it's a free platform. It's free. The purple the purple feather is just letting you know what you could be watching. Now, now my favorite my 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 favorite show, most favorite show in the world is American Greed and I guarantee you can't find that for free on any other platform Peacock TV has American Greed available to watch for free I mean to me that just boom that just sealed the deal right there and you know I wasn't even looking for American Greed I just was browsing through and um, just happened to come across it but um, let's get into the pricing so Peacock TV has three different pricing tiers. Now, at the beginning, this was this is weird to me. You have a they have a free tier, a premium tier, and then they have a, a premium plus tier, right? So, I was thinking, all right, what's with the three tiers? But when you think about it, the free tier, all right, that's one hundred percent free. Of course, you're gonna have to watch commercials, right? So that covers the the cord cutters who want to watch free content. They don't have to be on there exclusively. But they can always come back to it and watch the content, right? So that's it's like an open forum, you know. They're not trying to get you in and hold your money for hostage, you know, to get you to watch the content. It's, hey, if you like our content, you like our content. You ain't got to stick with us. You ain't got to live in this house, right? So that's the first tier. Then the second tier is the Peacock Premium tier, which is $4.99 per month or $49.99 per year. Now, with the Premium tier you get 20,000 hours of content. You just get more content with the premium tier. Now, with the with the free tier, you get about 13,000 hours worth of content. Still, 
you get enough content to keep you satisfied especially if you bouncing between free streaming platforms if you bouncing between pluto tv and peacock tv you good to go guarantee you so you the, the premium content you're still going to have to watch advertisements but you know um you get more content that's the only difference you get more content with the premium with the premium tier now with the premium plus tier now a lot of bloggers have got this wrong but uh it's not 100 percent ad free you get fewer ads i know a lot of blog posts been saying you get it's ad free no ads but with the premium plus tier you're still gonna watch have to watch advertisements but you're gonna get fewer ads and that's what they see on the website if you just take a look at right here and the premium plus tier is 9.99 per month right and i i like how they word it is you know it's typical corporate um jibber jibber jabber right if you are looking for the same great peacock premium content with fewer ads they don't say with no ads they say fewer ads right you can sign up for peacock premium plus for an additional five dollars per month so what they doing is that that psyche type deal instead of saying for 9.99 per month they're saying for an additional five dollars so you may see that low digit and you say all right we go for five dollars it's only a penny more but no it's five dollars more it's additional five dollars you know to that 4.99 a month or an additional fifty dollars per year so 9.99 per year or 99.99 per year or 9.99 per month so i like i like that pricing structure let me know what you guys think about that i kind of like it I, I think that really they said in the bar i think this is the only premium um streaming service that is doing this they're covering two different areas of core and the people who want free content the people who want premium paid content right and now the, if we want to get into why they're adding ads um if you go deep into it i will post this i will link this help page in, into your um into my description but they're saying they, they still have obligations contractual obligations with other companies so that's why they still post ads in their content right it's just gonna be for ads all right so available devices i will start this off by saying Peacock is currently not available on Roku or Amazon Fire Stick. Now, with that being said, Peacock is also not available on rooted Android devi devices. Um, I ran into the same situation with um, PlayStation View when they were, when they was um, up and running, but a lot of streaming services won't work on rooted Android devices. So, if you're looking to buy a cheap Android device, be careful. You know. Look in the description or ask them a question and say, hey, is this a rooted Android device? Because I bought a rooted Android device and PlayStation View didn't work on that. But they're available on web browsers, Chrome, 70 Plus, um, Firefox, uh, Microsoft Edge, Safari, mobile devices as well. And that's something I want to get into because, like I said at the beginning, um, Google Play users gave this app a 2.6 star rating you know and most of the complaints was the same thing which their complaints i did not have the same issue right so android 6.0 or above ios 11 or above um android tv apple tv chromecast lg smart tv physio smart tv xbox one um now all my years of core cutting monitoring core cutting uh, reporting on it uh this was the fastest cord cut nap to ever come to a smart tv um i literally in the middle of the day i went to my vizio smart tv just you know check my check my apps and peacock tv was right there right there in the middle it's not at the beginning but it's right there um but <clears throat> vizio smart tvs xbox one and of course cox and xfinity users now if you're a cox or xfinity user they do have a help section for you guys especially if you're having trouble signing in on different accounts like i said i will link this help page in the description to help you guys out so um can you chromecast now that's the big question we're gonna go over here to google play now they have a 2.7 star rating um but a lot of the one stars 
are saying that um, they are they are uh, able to um, screencast or screen mirror. Um, I didn't have this issue at all. You know, I just got on my device, make sure my phone was on the same network as you know every other device in my house. Um, my Vizio Smart TV has Chromecast built in. Um, of course, of course, keep in mind if you're one of these people that's giving it a one star rating, it's not going to work on uh, Roku TV or Android TV right now. It's not going to cast to them devices, right? At least I believe it won't, right? I know I know for a fact it won't um, cast to Roku, but it will cast to the TiVo Stream 4K and the Air TV Mini by Dish. It will cast to them devices because they have Chromecast built in. So, um, I just opened my phone, tapped the um, screencast button, and my options came up. If you don't have any options show up, then I guess you're out of luck. But, you know, um, now that's something they do mention. They say that make sure your device is compatible, right? If your phone is not compatible with Chromecast, if your device is not compatible with Chromecast, you're going to have issues. But at the same time, this still is a new streaming service. It's a brand new app. Of course, they're going to have bugs they're going to need to weed out so all like i said is be patient the service is premium like i said they're available on web browsers they're available on um the tivo stream 4k other legit unrooted android devices so you know just be patient with it right it does work on chromecast though so again um uh, just had this one up no rooted or jailbroken android devices right so <clears throat> another feature is concurrent streams so you can have three concurrent streams which i mean you know that that covers the whole family pretty much you know if you're all in the same house so where is peacock available they are only available in the united states and certain u.s territories um this is the list right here and uh, again, I'm going to link it in the description below. So, all right, folks. So now we're just going to browse through the interface. And I'm going to show you guys what's going on on the screen. So starting over here, we have our channel section, which gives you um, live news. Now, what in, what Peacock does is they, they don't give you exactly the live news. They give you a curated version of their their live news something like what zumo would do or what pluto tv would do um kind of like a, a watered down not a watered down version but their version not nbc's version but their version of uh the news segment so you're not going to be able to match it up with your local nbc section i mean nbc station so just going down the live tv station is a great feature now that's what i say they offer the best of both worlds because these this right here is a feature that uh, popular streaming services like Pluto TV or Zumo TV have, and that that's what this is what people love about those um, free streaming platforms. That's why Pluto TV is so popular, Zumo is so popular, Distro TV is an up and coming free streaming platform. But just going down, you have True Crime, um, different different TV shows. Now Hell's Kitchen, that's available everywhere. But just going down, Tasty Made. Um, a lot of these live channels are, you know, you can catch them on different uh, platforms. Even Sling TV has a free version of live TV, and you can also catch some of these channels on there. But um, they have Snapped on here. Snapped um, is a part of their uh, live, um, live, live channel lineup. Forensic Files, The Office. Of course, they're going to have something different, but, you know, um, comparing it to just the general population of streaming services um premium stream streaming services especially they are in their own lane because they're doing the best of both worlds um for premium service you don't have to you know switch services right and that's something i really want to get into right now uh, but i want to get into roku i want to get into roku i really want to get into what roku is doing and who they think they are <clears throat> and you know it's just my personal um opinion about roku but first we're going to go through here so you got the browse section 
Um, so of course you can browse content. Nothing new with this. You can browse. Uh, see what's going on again. If you see that blue peacock feather, that just means it's it's on a premium, right? You got the featured TV shows. Now now you know Peacock has all the seasons of King of Queens, right? So now I noticed that's what that's this is what really um it's kind of like the pedal to the metal for or uh the the fuel for a lot of streaming services to to get a deal with the stream with the um a popular TV show um Hulu got Seinfeld um HBO Max I believe who HBO Max I forgot who HBO Max but uh uh, Disney Plus has uh, Family Family Guy, American Dad, um, uh, South Park, but that's that's the that's what they do. They 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 get a popular TV show and they put it on a platform to get the subscribers in. But this is great. But King of Queens is only available with premium. You see that purple feather. Um, but you got Frasier on here. You can watch that for free. Saturday Night Live, Thirty Rock. You can watch all of them for free. Um, Cheers, you can watch that for free. Um, Jeff Foxworthy, Real Husbands of Hollywood. So Ray Donovan, you can. Um, that's I got the Purple Feather, but Undercover Boss, you can watch that for free. A lot of great content on here that you can watch for free. Like I said, even if you don't have to make this your primary streaming service, you know. All right, so we're gonna go over here, go to movies. I mean, movies. I was just watching this movie. Now, when it comes to features, and I'm just going to touch on this because I guarantee you this video can be five hours long. Uh, but when you're watching something, it's going to be in your continued watching section. Right? Again, you can set parental controls. They have kids programming, um, closed caption. Everything is here. It's legit. Right? I don't know why Google Play users gave it a. 2.7 star rating but it's all here it's legit woody woodpecker i mean come on how many people in their 30s 40s um looking for wood woody woodpecker right where's water i mean the list goes on and um now this is one thing i do want to mention one thing i don't know i don't even think the news is out there is this is if they're going to play live sports you know, again, there's no, the content on here isn't the same as what's on regular NBC. It's their curated content. So I don't know if um, the NFL or basketball games are going to be on here. Maybe that's something they're still working out. You can't even find it in the help section. Um, you can't call them and ask them about it. No bloggers have talked about it. But, um, yeah, no live sports. I haven't seen that, but you do have Dateline, um, Nightly News with Lester Hart. I mean, uh, you can just go through it. And then you also have Latino movie. And if you want to search for an actor or a show, um, you type it up. You look at that, check out clips, what they have, and it's going to pop up. So what I want to talk about is what's going on with Roku and uh streaming devices right i mean streaming services right because when first roku first came out they were just another streaming device right and what set roku apart from the other um android players and you know what set them apart from uh fire tv for me was the ability to search they had more search options for example um for a while uh, Amazon didn't have YouTube. Uh, Roku had it. Amazon doesn't have Voodoo TV. Roku has it. And with that, you were you were getting more search options. So if you want to watch a specific Robert De Niro movie, uh, Roku was going to give you more options because they had more streaming services available on their platform. And that's, in my opinion, what really set them apart from Amazon and um, the the regular Android devices. That that search functionality, the, and the search functionality breaks down to them having more streaming services. Now with Roku, 
being in disputes with HBO Max, Peacock TV. I mean, they're getting out of what they were really popular for, right? And I mean, correct me, not correct me if I'm wrong, but let me know what was what drew you to Roku. What really drew you guys to Roku? Because that was the only difference I seen was the search, the search features. You know, Roku just had better search features. And Roku now what they are doing is they like Peacock is not available on a Roku, HBO Max is not available on a Roku. I mean, what else is gonna you know what else is? I'm starting to feel like Roku is starting to keep content away from us, right? I can easily go with one of the hundred other streaming devices that's out there as opposed to Roku because I mean let's let's look at Roku as a whole right so roku versus let's say roku versus i mean basically anybody but let's say roku versus amazon fire stick you can't side load a roku but you can amazon fire stick you can't do bluetooth remote control bluetooth audio but you can with an amazon fire stick you know Amazon and Android has better game graphics. Roku has crappy game graphics. I mean, what really, why is, why is Roku really um, playing games with, you know, with us? And, you know, I'm kind of taking this personal because uh, I feel like Roku now is keeping me away from content. Uh, yeah, I want to watch, um, if your Roku is my primary device, I want to watch HBO Max on my Roku. I want to watch Peacock TV on my Roku. I don't know what games they're playing, but I want to have my content on my Roku. Otherwise, if the, all the content is not there, well, then why would I have your device? I mean, that's how I feel. And, you know, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people out there that feel the same way because uh, Roku isn't really... Uh, you know, to put it more in a bigger perspective, I, I have a Roku Ultra, <clears throat> 2018 version of Roku Ultra, and it's only one above that. That's the newer version. And I've been having issues with my Roku Ultra since day one. You know, uh, not big issues, but for one, you can't cut the device off, right? So every three to five days, my audio gets distorted. When I press a button, it's like choppy audio. Even with the, <clears throat> even with the, the, the motion sounds like doo doo doo, it's it's distorted. So I have to go to restart my Roku. I have to do that every three to five days, right? And you know that's just becoming a new thing. I'm noticing that the batteries are dying quicker. The batteries only last two to three months, right? Sometimes the remote don't work. You hit a you hit a certain button. Um, it's going to jump to an app and take you away from the program. Now, I'm only noticing this more because I'm watching TV more. And also, it's, be, it's affecting me more and it's getting to me more because I'm having a, I have a personal issue with Roku now. You're not letting me watch AP. But that's how it is. When you at a job and you start to dislike that job, all things start coming into play. You start realizing that, hey, I don't like this person. Maybe I should quit. I don't like the way this job makes me do this. Maybe I should quit. That's the same thing with the streaming device. Like, uh, you're, I feel like they're starting to hold me back from my content or what I want to watch. So I'm noticing more of the defects they have. That's just simply what it is. But um, I think Roku really needs to change. Right. Of, you know, of course, I think the worst thing they ever did was, you know, by an advertising um, company. Right. That really just showed you what they was about. And, you know, aside from that, they are publicly traded company. So, of course, they're going to, you know, want to keep their shareholders happy. And then how else do you do that? Is you f trying to find ways to make more money? And how do you make more money? Is you strong arm um, streaming services to give you a certain percentage or however you can turn their platform into money for you, you know, and I think that's what they're doing. Um, but um, same thing goes with Amazon, and you know, Peacock TV is not on Amazon, and I believe Amazon is doing the same thing, you know, with HBO Max as well. I mean, it's two, two, two of the newest streaming services 
within a couple when the pat within the past two and a half three months that are not yet on these the two most popular streaming devices but you know you you got uh i can make an app and put it on roku right that's how vlad tv even though he's popular he has an app on roku right distro tv has an app on roku you know the bigger you are the more susceptible you are to the you know to the the people that want to get in your pocket but that is it folks let me know what you think about this video again i'm gonna post the appropriate links in the description and i will talk to you guys next time peace out